91% chance of winning re-election. Helmut Norpoth's primary model also predicts President Trump will win 362 electoral votes to Biden's 176. 362 to 176. Joining us now is Helmut Norpoth, political science professor at Stony Brook in New York, Stony Brook University, and his model has correctly predicted, uh, well, as we said, the vast number of winnings over the past uh, uh, 20 some odd elections and correctly predicted pre President Trump's victory in 2016. Uh, it is great to have you with us, Professor. Uh, what have you got right that the rest don't see? Well, glad to be back, Lou. Um, well, I depend on uh, real elections, real polls, not uh, hypothetical ones. And uh, as you said, over 100 plus years of elections, a formula that uses uh, the outcome of primary elections plus something else has done pretty well in picking the winner in presidential elections. I want to put up your, your prediction, Professor, uh, if we could put up the full screens here because there are a lot of numbers to absorb. Uh, but President Trump, in your prediction, 362 electoral votes uh, to uh, Biden's 176. Uh, that is, in many ways, the inverse of what most forecasters, uh, pollsters are, are uh, putting out. Uh, what is fundamental to the 362 uh, what is the foundation, uh, that is, the states that he has to win to get to 362? Well, I don't know the exact number of states. Uh, my uh, prediction is based on sort of the overall number of electoral votes that I track over the uh, last sort of uh, 27 elections going back to 1912. Uh, I would have to speculate exactly on what states would be included there. Certainly all the states that he won last time, plus uh, two or three right. others. And uh, uh, I can't quite uh, make a, a complete prediction about about that. That's uh, that's something sort of above my, my pay grade. Other people who do state-by-state -state predictions uh, would have to help me out with that. But uh, what I'm definitely saying is that uh, Donald Trump has a 91% chance of clearing 270, which is the minimum to win right. election, re-election in this case. Well, that and, and that number is astonishing. And it's just about the uh, inverse, for example, uh, if you look at uh, you know, 538, uh, uh, any number of uh, polls give him about a 10 percent chance uh, and uh, his opponent 90. The how much how confident are you in this number this year? When you and I talked four years ago, you stood alone, uh, in and and uh, and you stand alone uh, in 2020. Uh, I think that's a, a pretty good uh, pretty good indicator for the outcome of this election. But tell tell us what there is that gives the president such a a dominant position going into tomorrow's election. Well, for, I mean, as you mentioned, I mean, I've gone through this experience before in 2016 when I was at odds with uh, these kind of predictions based on polls that gave uh, Donald Trump barely a chance. I mean, there were some that gave him barely a 2 percent chance. Uh, 538 was a little, right. little better than that. But uh, I think in retrospect, we know that uh, Donald Trump's victory will come from a few handful of states which are very competitive and uh, which he won by uh, a pretty narrow margin, like Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, right. Pennsylvania. Uh, and uh, of course, he has to hang on to Ohio, North Carolina, and Florida. And I think if he, if he does that, I think he could do a repeat, even though he may lose the popular vote again, which uh, <clears throat> happened last time. I mean, the popular vote is so skewed in uh, states like California, where Hillary Clinton won by more than 4 million votes. Uh, that was more than our national total. Right. So there, there are just a couple of states in the United right. New York to it. And uh, so for Donald Trump, it's very important to, to really concentrate on a handful of battleground states. And when I look at, at, at those states, I see that uh, uh, while Donald Trump is 
uh, perhaps behind overall in the average. He's about where Hillary Clinton was uh, four years ago. So I can see the same thing. And uh, if the polls haven't really uh, learned anything or done anything better this time than last time, I don't, uh, I don't see that they would be right and, uh, and I would be wrong. Well, uh, the, there are a lot of people hoping you're right, Helmut. <laughs> we appreciate it, Professor. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Helmut Norpoth, uh, and uh, we will give you a, a victory celebration, uh, victory lap here on the, uh, on, on the show this week. The Lou Dobbs Tonight quotation of the day comes from my book, The Trump Century.